Hey, what's going on YouTube? Full Twist Moto here. Moto Talks episode number 25. How healthy are you? Now for this one, uh, I was going to kind of explain where I've been the past, I don't know how long it's really been, probably a month since I made a video it feels like. Uh, probably not too far off in, in reality. And uh, uh, kind of hits home with these uh this this topic because uh health is something i never really worried about i've always been relatively healthy um as i felt i have been without really putting too much effort into it i've always been about six foot one uh weigh about on average 150 to 175 probably max um, and uh, you know never really thought too much of it just kind of did what I wanted to do ate what I wanted to eat and uh, um, kind of gone from there I never really had too much problem I don't gain any weight even if I want to try and trust me I've tried and uh, it just doesn't happen but um, um, you know so I never really worried about it like I was saying but um, within these past three weeks I've had a whole not a shit ton of issues well it feels like a shit ton of issues really it's only a couple issues just been keep manifested and haven't been changing my diet or my routine or anything like that uh, since having the issues so um, that of course plays a part in it but um, you know so I've been feeling real sick had a lot of stomach issues uh, uh, unable to eat um, when I try to eat nothing tastes good things like that watch out little birds come on now and uh, looking back and realizing a few things um, kind of realize that uh, my use of drinking coffee over the last year really year and a half really has you know went from one cup in the morning maybe one cup in the evening and you know my cups I've held about really about two cups of coffee um, but still, not not like I'm power drinking coffee. Um, at least I used not to. And even at some points in time, I went you know a couple of days without having a cup of coffee, and it was no big deal. Um, last year, year and a half, coffee's become nothing but the norm. So I was saying, the last few weeks, been having a lot of stomach issues, uh, hot and cold sweats, um, lack of any kind of energy or motivation for anything, and. Uh, I just really thought it was a, the food I was eating. Um, ended up uh, spending the last two days in the hospital, last Thursday and Friday. Uh, yeah, Thursday and Friday. Got out Saturday morning, um, just, just this past weekend. And uh, initially went in, I was having a lot of stomach, stomach pains and, and problems still after that three week period. And, it got to a point where I couldn't even work. Um, I, even, in fact, on Thursday I went to work. Uh, was there for about an hour or so, and just started breaking out in such a cold sweat and throwing up that they just sent me home. Um, and I went straight to the. I went to the emergency room. Went there, did that. They ended up uh, initially telling me that I was having. I had suffered some form of a minor heart attack, and that was. Oh man, that that hit home quick. <laughs> Let me tell you that one. Um, and they, you know, admitted me to a room and kept me and said, you know, you're gonna be here overnight at least. Um, and uh, said I was also severely dehydrated. And I was like, you know, well, how the hell am I dehydrated? I drink nothing but coffee all day with nothing but flavored water any fucking way, right? Um, turns out that. Uh, coffee in excess can definitely cause dehydration something I did not know about before but do now um, you know beware anybody else who may not know that you know um, ignorance is bliss and now I kept ignorant to the front to the subject you know I just enjoyed the coffee and kept drinking it more and more and uh, end up getting to a point where it was probably six seven pots a day just by myself nothing and 
uh, suppressing my hunger so I actually didn't even eat anything. Um, how you doing? So, end up being, you know, really bad all around for myself. So now I was dehydrating myself from not eating or from drinking too much coffee and nothing but coffee. And then I went to, due to that, getting a lack of nutrition for the exact same reason. And that just put a double whammy on my body between the, like I said, the stomach aches. I didn't mention I get the, the migraines and all those issues that, that were uh, happening happening that didn't really help but um yeah so i ended up uh spending a little bit over i don't know i got there probably three o'clock on thursday and they let me out 7 a.m ish 8 a.m ish and uh they got a nice let me out uh they let me out 7 8 a.m ish at uh on saturday morning <laughs> and don't you know um, I got to work on the weekend, so I worked, you know, got home and got to rest a little bit more and, and relax a little bit and then went right to eight hour shift at work, but no big deal. It was actually all right. Um, they had me on a IV for 24 hours and I tell you what, that made the world of difference. Um, I probably put on about 10 pounds in the hospital. I don't know how, um, you know, I was probably down to 135, 140. And uh, I'm about 150 right now. And uh, um, since then, I've over this weekend gotten a shit ton of fruit and veggies and things of that nature. And uh, I'm gonna make a real conscious effort to to go ahead and uh, try to eat more healthy and do things of that nature. Other things that are compounded the whole situation was I smoke about a pack a damn day of cigarettes, and uh, that's something I've been really wanting to quit anyway. Um, and that when I was told that there was a heart attack and things of that nature and related to the nicotine, um, like I said, that hit home and hit home hard. Unfortunately, um, that's not one of those things I can just cold turkey quit. You know, I kind of took it for granted. Um, 40, 42 years old now, father of five, and uh, I can't be bullshitting like that. You know, um, I want to be around to see them, and I don't want to uh, really be the cause of extra stress or and things of that nature in their life you know um, I'm the provider of support you know not the provider of drama like I've always said save the drama for your mama because ain't nobody else give a fuck with that take care of yourselves take care of your health you drink I don't, luckily I don't drink at all. That's one thing I learned from a young boy is that having a, a drunk for a stepfather is that shit just ain't good. Thank you, ma'am. Um, anyway, that's a different subject too, but you know, if you smoke, uh, do any in excess, in excess like that, that, that you know, you know you need to stop, uh, go ahead, try something new. What the fuck do you got to lose? You can only get better from it, dude. And do that. You can only improve from it. Don't hit me, you old bitch. I'd be really pissed off if she let me out and come up and ram me. So last time I got hit, did that? The lady did that to me. <laughs> my my 600. Anyway, that's another different subject. I keep getting all these different subjects popping up, right? Got to make a video about them, huh? No, not really. They don't really matter. <laughs> anyway, like I was saying, no. Uh, take care of yourself. If you know you, ain't, you got something in your life that isn't right, and you know you need to change it, jump on the challenge, the bandwagon with me, man. Get in there and get it changed. Get it done. You got nothing to lose, and only benefits to gain. And that's it. I'm out.